Good day, Martin here. Yeah. Sometimes I think that um, we do not read the word with the understanding of the Spirit of God, and that's why we miss things. This video, I want to speak to you about the golden vials of the book of Revelation, and let's go to the book um, 4, verses 7. Now we know that John cried because there's none that could open the book. Why would John cry that the book must be opened? That book is Christ. And he knew the importance of that book to be opened for mankind. Um, verse 7, And he came, that um, Lamb, Jesus Christ, came and took the book out of the right hand, who sat uh, upon the throne. And when he had taken the book of the four beasts and the four and twenty elders, fell down before this lamb, Jesus Christ, having every one of them harps and golden, having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors. A vial is a, 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 a golden vial is a a vessel, a vessel that is of gold. Now let me say these things. We are kings and priests. Kingship, speaking of gold. Gold, all right, golden vials, full of odors. And it goes, which are, yeah, the angel says what, what it is in John say, which are, the prayer of the saints, the odor in the golden vial, the odor is the prayer, the vial is the saints, golden vials. We are the vial and we are full of odor and that is the prayer of the saints. And they sang a new song. <laughs> and they the golden vials with the odor the prayer they sung a new song when Jesus as the lamb broke open the scroll thou art worthy to take the book Jesus Christ you are the only one that can give your life and bring everlasting life let me go to um, then Revelation uh, is Revelation 8 and um, it's so important to understand um, and another angel verse 3 came and stood at the altar another angel now angel is a messenger so we must know that when the book of Revelation talks about messengers it's not um, it's literal angels always it can be man and it can be God himself and it can be angels Another angel came and stood at the altar. Now I know the only one that can bring an offering to God that is acceptable is his messenger, is Jesus Christ. He is the another angel that came and stood at the altar. He's the only one worthy to take up the scroll and open himself. He's the only one that can stand at the altar. Having a golden censer, and having a golden censer, this angel Jesus Christ, having a golden censer, and there was given unto him much incense. He has also a golden censer. I believe Jesus Christ is the angel, it's one part, and another thing, he is the golden censer in his hand. It is like Jesus, as the Lamb took himself, the scroll, Jesus, the angel, stood at the altar, and he is the golden censer, with much incense, with much incense in him, that he should offer it with the prayers of the saints. Now we know the golden censer, the odor in the golden censers we have read, is the prayer of the saints. He must mingle his prayer with our prayer upon the golden altar 
which was before the throne. And the smoke of the incense, which came with the prayers of the saints, ascended up before God out of the angel's hand. This is not a normal angel. This is Jesus Christ. And he gave his incense, he gave his spirit unto us, so that we have an odor and an incense that is acceptable before God. It is the same when the angel throw his odor on us. It's when Jesus Christ throw his spirit upon us as golden censers, so that our worship can be acceptable to God. And the angel took the censer and filled it with fire. Fire is life and its spirit. He filled it with the Holy Ghost himself, the Holy Ghost. He filled it with fire of the altar. Of the altar. The altar is the place where we offer an offering unto God. And this altar is the place where Jesus Christ died. He mingled spirit with that offering Jesus Christ himself. And cast it into the earth. We are the earth. The kingdom must come into earth as it is in heaven. We are earth. The kingdom of God will be in us, the hope of glory. Our bodies is the temple of God, so God throw this odor and prayer. He mingle it with fire, with his spirit. I will baptize you with spirit and with fire, says Jesus Christ to his disciples. Uh, he throw it into the earth and there were voices. Yeah, we start to prophesy. In the last days, God will pour out His Spirit upon all flesh, and they will start prophesying and see dreams. And there were voices and thunderings. Go and see what I'm speaking about thunderings and lightnings. It's a light, life. Jesus Christ is the light, lightnings, and the life of man. John 1, verse 4. And earthquakes. We is we are earth and when the spirit enter us as our body became quickened the natural god will shake the natural dimension earth will quake so that the spirit and the kingdom of god is the only only thing that will stay according to hebrew we go and read hebrew 8 9 and 10 god will send his spirit and he will shake in the earth so that the spirit will come alive and will be truly acceptable before God. So the golden vials is us full of odor with him as the main golden vial mingled with us as man. May this bless you in Jesus mighty name. Amen.